Michael Carson, and I'm really excited about my upcoming opening at Bonner David Gallery on March 16th. I call it Audio Visuals, and I hope to see you there. Well, ever since I have been as young as I can remember, I've had two passions, and it's been painting, or art, and music, and the two have always gone hand in hand. But anyways, they've always gone together for me, and uh, you know, I know people always say they listen to music in the background in studios, but I honestly think I take that more seriously. Um, for me, uh, you know, other than the initial concept, the thing that makes an artist unique from anybody else, and the thing that gives them their thumbprint is their mechanics. It's how you move, and it's how you apply paint, and it's... It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's the physicalness of actually doing the art, it's how you implement it. So, when I have music going on in the background, it changes my painting completely. Uh, if I have some funky, loud music going on, then I'm standing up and I'm holding that paintbrush like it's almost a conductor stick and moving around and, and you can tell in the painting. And if I'm listening to some really soft, intimate, quiet music and I'm sitting down and I'm doing details, and I'm, my painting might be a little more... Uh, a little more detail oriented, a little tighter. So music to me, uh, you know, I, I really can't paint without it. To me, I need that. It's kind of my, uh, it's kind of my battery. And it determines how the brush strokes are gonna be applied on the paint. And so that's why this concept of this show for me is just a natural thing.
start feeling like it's sort of an artist block coming in, you know, where you're not inspired. And, and Stephanie and Christy brought this concept to me at the right time, and it was instant inspiration for me. It was like, it just felt instantly like it was just like a subtle, different track to be going down. And so, uh, you know, next thing I did, I, I obviously started like, researching uh, Food of Mall, and uh, like instantly was just even twice as excited. I mean, I was, I was focusing on things that I really hadn't done in my career before. It was, whereas I always approach a painting and, and focus on, uh, you know, specifically the figure and, and, and the skin and the tone and the composition of that figure. And, and the fashion sort of took like a, a back seat to that. Well, this sort of got me thinking more about the actual fashion and, you know, the fabrics and, you know, the, the attempt at painting like sheer fabrics and, and, and satins and, and uh, you know, just, just things I'd never even tried. And also the concept of, of sort of taking someone else's art and putting it in my art. I just love that idea. So it was kind of a natural thing for me. It was like a natural idea for me to, to take the next step in my paintings. And, uh, you know, luckily, um, uh, Jennifer uh, from Florida Mall was, was uh, up for the idea and she let me come to New York and, and be part of this uh, fashion shoot for the Spring Line. And it was incredibly inspirational for me. And, um, yeah, I've been working on that for the last two months. So uh, I, I hope I get to do it again. general negative spaces and then I start saying all right well I need like the back of somebody I start kicking through my leaves here and I say oh my god I love this but I, I, I have I have uh, thousands of images too so what if I don't find something I'll start pulling it out throwing things around it's kind of fun actually it's my little garden yeah well I mean on, on some paintings you know if I get to photograph the model myself, usually I like to paint from that photograph. But a lot of these compositions have multiple figures and I'm using three, four pieces of reference on each figure. So a painting like this could have 
40 pieces of reference. I have legs from one woman, a torso from another, a head from another. And so, you know, you, you, you sort of draw these first to sort of, to sort of make sure it's going to work. But a lot of these pieces, you'll, you'll notice the, the lighting is different on each, on each part of the body. And, and if you paint it together uh, and, and the figure still looks like right, people don't question that. They don't question the, the wrong lighting.